Hello everyone and welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2 where I'm going to attempt to make an SSTO. I'm taking a one video break from building the International Space Station and my goal is to examine aerodynamics in the game a little bit further. The previous thing I did was the flying carpet uh, which uh, did not go past Mach 1 and I'm more interested in the higher velocity dynamics that are going on here. The space shuttle has caught me by surprise many times already and I need to get a better grip on how things fly in the game. Of course, that's liable to change in later versions, perhaps soon, but anyway, we are going to see how things work by making an SSTO. Now, I'm not gonna pull any tricks. I'm aware of some exploits out there. I'm not going to do any exploits. We're gonna build it straight uh, so that it'll work in future versions and be reliable. The goal is to have something that can deliver satellites to orbit, and uh, just small satellites, you know, with a little ant engine or something like that. Uh, something that could be a commsat around the moon, that kind of thing. So, yeah, we'll have a uh, bay, a cargo bay for that. But just a normal Mark II sort of format. And I want to make it look good. The important thing for me is to make it look good. Now, I do want to have a remote can scene. I would like the Mark II docking port. Oh, they actually reversed the colors there. Um... It might be the case that we want to send this up uh, uncrewed and then have a crew be rescued by it. That's another option. So that's why I'm putting the drone core right away. I would like the Mark II docking port, but I don't think we have that part at all. Um, we have these cockpits, we have those fuel tanks, and we have this docking port. But when I type Mark II, it teases me with this, but that's not the old Mark II docking port that uh, had the doors and everything. So what we want to do is have a cargo bay, but we also want the propellant to be symmetric about the cargo bay. So regardless of what the car cargo bay has in it, we're going to have the plane be balanced. And we're going to need methane tanks and methalox tanks I think we'll have the methane tanks inline and the methalox tanks outboard. I, I'm, I'm thinking of an old plane that I used to have, so... Thinking that sort of format would be good. And then we want something to counterbalance the cockpit. And the cockpit is 2.4 tons. The probe core is 0.25. So we're looking at point. 2.6-ish. We're gonna have the engines in the back, so probably it's gotta be heavier in the back right now than we would like. And we need more mass up front rather than less. Do they have the buy adapter? They don't have the adapter for two tanks here? Uh, two engines? I mean, uh, maybe it's not... Oh, there it is. They just didn't have it come up with Mark II parts. Um, this has some mephalox in it. Well, the logical thing to try out is the is the rapier engine. We'll certainly want the action group for changing the mode. Cycle mode, I guess. So action group one will be cycle mode on both of those. We'll need intakes. That's probably why we don't have any delta V. But we'll have the intakes outboard. Regular mephalox fuel tanks, like this. Shock cone intake, pretty typical. Uh, the trim, I might not want silver. In fact, I, I specifically wanted black on the body and it gave me a gray. See, I set the agency color to a very black black. And it gave me gray anyway. I guess we're just gonna have silver on the nose cone. The SS anyone has black? I mean, it's not guaranteed to be silver. I don't think we need fuel lines or anything. Let's have overwhelming power. Where's the center of mass? Well, the cargo bay is a little bit forward of the center of mass right now. But that might be alright. But once we put the wing surfaces, it's bound to go further back. How heavy are we? We have got a thrust weight ratio of 1.2 right now, it says. I don't have any delta V apparently, but I have a thrust weight ratio. 
I wonder if the shock cone intake actually does anything useful. It says intake efficiency 100% at Mach 5. This is has reduced efficiency at Mach 5. So yeah, we definitely want the shock cone intake. The engine pre-cooler, I guess, just has more intake air right now. It has a little bit of methane in it too. We'll have to see what the right balance of methane versus methalox is. In our words, the air breathing mode versus closed cycle. But yeah, we probably just want the shotgun intake. The adjustable ramp intake would look better. I I always like putting it like that for some reason. It looks slicker that way, but we'll forgo that in favor of efficiency. We do need more mass up front, and we don't have a lot of power. So maybe in the bay I'll stick a permanent bit of battery power. Now, right now, I, uh, somebody said that the cargo bays don't include the parts properly. So this is sort of just asking for it. But we'll test it like that, and if it performs better later, that'll be alright. Hey, let's put a fission reactor in. That's a huge RTG. The fission reactor would just about fit. <laughs> it doesn't move the center of mass very much though. Huh. The center of mass does not appear to be changing at all. Depending on where I put the fuel. So, we can't really check things out as far as the center mass is concerned. I was only dumping the fuel in the rear tanks, but it wasn't moving to center mass. Okay, time for wing surfaces. Center lift is really far forward with this wing piece. Uh, I would have expected it a little bit further back, but I've got no control surface there. I'm just covering the bottom with a wing piece. This is an old style that I've done in the old times. Oh, what happened to symmetry? It's not symmetrizing the change in the wingspan. Well, this side symmetrizes, I think. Okay, this is the shape of the wing I've settled on. And we, we're not using canards right now, though I might reconsider that. And you can see where the center of lift is. Uh, I'm going to probably tilt these a little bit. And that raises the center of lift a little bit, you see. Very simple. They, these only have to do yaw. And I don't need that much. These need to do everything but yaw. And probably should be allowed every bit of authority that we can get out of them. Okay, the landing gear. Landing gear should be just behind the center of mass. And ideally long enough so that we can rotate. I'm, I'm just gonna call it Greybird because it's ended up, oops, it's ended up gray instead of black even though I asked it to be black. It's super simple, I think you'll agree, and we're going to try it out. It's not giving me any help down here as far as the Delta V is concerned, so that's a problem. We've got thrust-weight ratio, apparently. Whether we've got enough fuel is tough to say, and we do have a lack of RCS, but we're not aiming for precision docking right now, so we will try it out. And there's a clean save, so I'm expecting Jeb. Do we have Jeb? We have Bill. Then uh, we, we're gonna have Jeb. Even though we have the controller there, we'll use Jeb. Alright, let's see. Have I forgotten something? Why do we have no Delta V? Oh, okay. It's feisty. It's feisty. Okay, throttle is up. We should be on air breathing. It says air there. Got four engines. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe I should have fewer than four engines, because it seems laggy with four engines. <laughs> Maybe two engines will be fine, just for the sake of reducing lag. This is a clean save. There's nothing else here. The jet plumes are apparently very intense. Okay, uh, we're off the ground. You're up. Okay, we are climbing and accelerating. Now, there was an old theory of uh, going fast, low, and then climbing. I'm just going to try and do it in a more orthodox style, which is climb, then accelerate past Mach 1. Oh, we might need struts. The outer pods were wiggling like that. We have no struts right now. We'll need to strut those pods, I think. See that? But we have way too much power, because we're gonna punch right through the speed of sound, even before I want to. Wish the vessel resources showed more of the resources. We are certainly past Mach 1 now. We should be past Mach 2 now. Maybe a little bit early. The weird aerodynamic effects causes fuzziness here. More aliasing, like I say, blurring. I don't know if I like that. Mach 3. Let's bring up the dialogue with this and see their thrust. They said Mach 5 for the shotgun intakes, so I'm expecting that. Okay, let's level out here. Oh, 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 it's only Mach 4. Alright, rocket mode. Mix of engines is another theory. Uh, in other words, some air breathing, some rocket engines. Right now we're carrying too much ox. But we could probably expedite how quickly we get through the air breathing mode. Okay, that's a good apoapsis. We'll just wait. Well, now we've... Uh, it looks like we're going to get to orbit. Much to my own surprise. Uh, on the first try. This is the first try. Uh, otherwise I would put struts on. Uh, can we make re-entry with the fact that we haven't put struts? That'll be the next question. I know, people have made SSDOs to leaf and all that business. I'm just trying to be simple about this. We don't have any cargo in the bay though, so... Once we put cargo, it's not going to be quite as... replete with Delta V. We will complicate the designs in future... iterations of KSP2. For now, this... is at least a good start. Once we get more parts, especially... In my really old Buck Kerman series, Buck Kerman flew a uh, space plane that had the IS mini ISRU unit and drills and everything, the small drills, and so was able to refuel in different locations. Well, I thought I didn't put uh, control surfaces on those. I had set those to not have control surfaces. Hmm. But yeah, uh, once we get those ISRU units and such, I want to build a space plane that can land on Minmus and refuel itself, which means obviously vertical landing rockets, but that's not very hard for Minmus or something similar. You don't need... I think I used Twitch engines for that at that point. The critical thing is the balance in that case, but the main heavy part is the ISRU units. Also, having IVA view would be nice for Buck Kerman purposes. Okay, we have an orbit, and it is a straight equatorial orbit, equatorial orbit, 
So we should be able to come down on this orbit directly. And I'll use the shuttle sort of calculation. Are we still balanced having depleted the fuel? Good question. So I don't know if the wing pieces make any difference when there technically isn't any wing going over them, but for a long time in stock case B they would when you put them like this. So that's why I decided to put them like this. Anyway, it's sort of like heat shielding or something. We have 541 meters per second left, so we could certainly carry some cargo up. Now really it's a matter of how the fact that we have not strutted the... We could call them engine nacelles, whatever you want to call them. How that's going to affect re-entry right now. And then my ability to fly it down is another question. Okay, here we go. We are in the atmosphere. We do have some fuel. If we fall short, we could probably go in air breathing mode for a little bit. That's right, we don't have to land like the shuttle. That's uh, great help. Uh, we need to glide more. I'm gonna pitch down. This clearly gets way more drag than the shuttle does. Way more drag, supersonically. I'm expecting that its subsonic performance will be way better than the shuttle. And part of that might be just because we don't have as much stuff in the bay. The shuttle had a docking port in the back and the docking arrangement in the front. And if the bay doesn't include those parts, then that would have caused extra drag for the shuttle. We only have a battery. We are further south, uh, because I actually launched not exactly 90 degrees. But uh, we can probably deal with that with the jets. This has pretty good control over its trajectory coming back. Unlike the heavier shuttle. Can I turn a bit? Does it have that kind of capability? It is turning a little bit. I didn't close the intakes or anything. Intake is still enabled, it says. That is how our trajectory looks right now. And yeah, it's much better at turning its approach than the shuttle is. Okay, we're pretty much, we should just flatten out here. Try to get all stable. Pair air breathing mode. We should be able to try for a landing, maybe even without the jets, but probably at the last minute I'll be slowing down so fast that I'll want the jets. Okay, very triumphant music has queued. Okay, I think I should try and turn around. Well, it might be too early. But let's try. Does it have enough authority to turn here? It probably glides better than the shuttle. But I've definitely been traumatized by the shuttle landings. Yeah, this thing is way better than the shuttle. I think I'll put gear down now just to get some extra drag if it can do that for us. Chase plane view should work with this, right? Oh, that was the first one. Okay. Oh, but it makes the wobbly things more apparently wobbly. <laughs> okay. Guess we'll just have to deal with that. Sun's in my eye. It loses a lot of speed right here. Uh, you know what? I want to like the jets. 
just because I've been traumatized by the shell too much. Come on. Lightly, lightly. No flipping. No flipping. It zooms in a lot on the plane. Are we on the ground? Brakes. It was so light I didn't even notice when we touched down. And stopped. Okay, and no more chase plane view. That It really zooms in a lot when chase plane view. Whoa, okay, body view. Shall we taxi off? Jeb has made it back alive. Whoa, gosh. Oh, barely. Oh, the wheelbase might need to be widened. Wish we had proper space plane hangerage. So there you have it, the gray bird. Because I can't get it black. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't want the NSR-71 anyway. I wasn't going for that. But the simplest sort of SSTO. I remember it from back in the old days of stock. KSP-1, it still more or less seems to work the same way here, uh, but landings, uh, again, I right at the end, I lost a lot more speed than I expected to. I'll have to watch out for that, but this time the jets saved us, and yeah, that's it. Uh, we'll see how it works after some updates and when we get more parts that will make it a fuller sort of system. We could certainly optimize it more, uh, we were carrying too much oxidizer. But we will see about this. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.